What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Murray. 3K. We are taking a look at a solar power bank. It claims to be 36,000 milliamp hour battery life. This is from a company called Good Ah uh, or Good AAA. Whatever one you like. I like Good Ah. Uh. So, full disclosure, this company had requested for me to review this product. And as always, and I will have that in the description below, the letter that I always send companies to let them know that I do give fair and unbiased reviews. So if the product is good, bad, or whatever, you will know about it. And, and they know that you know <laughs> that I know that I will tell them about it. Well, without much further ado, let's just hop right into the product. So we see the front of the box here, uh, solar power bank, 36,000 milliamp hour battery uh, talks about the uh, various charging capacities it has um, lightning output USB-C USB output micro USB output uh, lightning input USB-A USB-C input and uh, wireless output so it has wireless charging it's a solar charging unit um, Again, I will tell you guys about my opinion about solar charging units. Great for emergencies, but it literally takes like a whole week, and I'm talking about the seven-day week, to uh, usually charge uh, these things up uh, via solar power. It looks like we got a green one, and that's the box. So we are going to hop right into it. <laughs> Do I have to break a seal or anything? Doesn't look like I do. That plastic was sealed enough. So, as we crack open the box, we see some customer service stuff there. We see the general instruction stuff there. We're going to get familiar with this. Has flashlight. That's great. And we have the showstopper itself here. But before we get into that, let's see what else is in the box. We have a carabiner here for putting on a backpack or whatever. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable. And that is the box. So, let's see what's in the, the bag. Oh, there's another piece of paper. Okay, there's a... Um, a thank you note from good uh, or good AAA and here's the device itself so you have a nice size solar panel that takes up the majority of the front there very neat LED display you see right now from the lights it is receiving a solar charge right there let's take a look at this so here are our outputs and inputs so this is an output a USB A, USB A output, and this is Type C, Type C, or Lightning. This is Lightning cable in, okay. Input. Let's see what else we got. So I think these are all. Well, that's an output. These may be inputs. I'm not sure. So then this device is neat because it has not only the Qi wireless ability, as you see here. It has its own cables where you don't have to worry about lugging cables around. So there's your lightning cable. Let's see here. Your USB-C cable there. Your micro USB, or is it mini USB? I think it's micro, micro USB. And then you have your USB a uh, input where, where you can charge a device right here so you can use this this is neat because you can actually utilize this with a laptop if you have a power brick which i'm sure you do you can just plug this in the power brick and then this will charge your device let's take a look at the lights well let's take a look at the other parts of it before we get to the lights so 
the edges are a, a rubbery silicone feel where you can get a good grip on it. This part is slick and smooth. Well, I shouldn't say slick. It's textured, very much like a file, but it's very much a hard plastic. Same on this side, very much a hard plastic. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is here. We will look into the instructions to figure out what this is. Interesting. It might not be anything for us to really fool with. I'm not sure what that is. Here is our power button, and this is how we activate our lights. There are two LED lights there. And again, we've already visited this section here that deals with an output and then a type C and a um, lightning input. So I believe you could charge this device via a type C charger or a lightning charger. You could charge it like so. All right, so now we are gonna look at the LED lights. So with the power button, I'm holding it, and I haven't charged this yet, but they do come on, yikes, very bright. Okay, let's see if it has any flash functions or anything like that. Just turns. I think they just turn off and on, that's all they do. So you get the two, two um, LEDs for your flashlight. So there's no blinking or anything like that, you can't turn one off or on the other. Not that I know of, I'm gonna read the instructions, we're gonna revisit that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to review the instructions to make sure that I haven't given you any bad information. And then uh, we'll come back with a recap after we've read the instructions and charged this thing up. Talk amongst yourselves. So we're about to do a little charging. And what the instructions said is to see where the charging level is. And I've already done it. We'll do it again. We'll turn it off. I tap this and it says it, ha it has three indicators. I think it'll show four if it's fully charged. So it came in fairly well charged. It says that this USB-C spot here, as well as this lightning port here, are both in and outputs, but we'll put that to the test. I've seen people say that before and only find that it's either an in or an out, but I've very seldomly seen where it's actually both despite it being reported. But let's see if that's the case. So we're using type C. Let me get back in. And as we see here, it is indeed charging. So it's working, at least charging. We'll test it out later on and see if it charges out. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to let this sit on the charger. We're going to let it juice up and uh, we'll get right back to it. You guys talk amongst yourselves. After receiving a full charge, we're uh, able to put this thing through its paces. We were able to learn a little bit more about it. So uh, from empty, you can expect around a three hour charge time. Here is the little um, charge indicator window. Right now you see the green sun LED illuminating because it's collecting the light from the lights I have illuminating this video. I tap the power button here and you see all four of the LED buttons illuminate. That's indicating a full charge and to turn that back off, you double tap it, or double tap it, and there you go, it kills that. I did figure out what this little thing was for here. This is for hooking your carabiner on if you so choose. And I'm going to tell you, while it does have some give to it, I can see this being a break point. I will not be using the carabiner with a dish right here. At the very most, if I had like a lanyard, I may string a lanyard through it, but overall, I think this is a potential break point. It just feels like it could be down the road and I'd rather not have something broken off of this thing. Uh, I would just stow it in a bag if I was gonna use this in the great outdoors. Speaking of outdoors, I cannot recall the the, the uh, waterproof rating in this, in this I did look it up and it's just splash resistant. You can tolerate a light rain with this. It's not waterproof in the least. So uh, even though it does look rugged like an outdoors type of thing and you could, you probably would be okay with it camping. It is not waterproof, just splash resistant. As said before, we have the two LEDs. We showed that previously. Let's take a look at some of the charging capabilities. So you have the Qi wireless charger. I have a phone that receives 
wireless charging and we're gonna position it. It's a little finicky. Oh, I forgot. So to activate that first, you turn it on, you see the little green LED light come on. Now I'm gonna position my phone. And as you see now, it, this is blinking that, and then my phone is indicating that it is wirelessly charging and that uh, everything is working as it should. Now I'm gonna show you something. Now I take this off. It stops blinking and I have it positioned poorly and you notice the LED turns red. That's letting you know it's positioned poorly and you're not getting a charge. You do a little readjusting and it's telling me I'm charging. There it is, very good. So I'm gonna take that off. Now I'm curious about the, uh, the included charging ports. So I have the uh, Pixel phone, it uses Type-C as most Android phones do nowadays. I'm not gonna wirelessly charge it at the same time, but I am gonna plug it in here. And it's charging. Now, uh, the, what I'm always looking for is I'm looking to make sure it's not charging slowly. And when you're not getting enough power, the phone will usually tell you it's charging slowly. This is not doing that. Now it's not a rapid charger by any means, but it is charging it uh, adequately and in a reasonable time. <clears throat> Another thing I was curious about, I'm gonna plug that. I'm curious about the iPhone charger. Now I do not usually use Apple products in my personal life, but my work does. And so here's my work phone here. And I'm curious, will I get that message? You know, when you use a, uh, a unlicensed Apple device and it won't charge, let's see if it does that. So I'm going to use the lightning cable charging. And right now I'm not getting any indication that it's giving me any problems. So it is charging just fine there on my work phone, which is an Apple phone and iPhone, excuse me. All right, unplug that. For those who may be dinosaurs out there, you have the micro USB port and I, I don't have anything that takes that anymore other than an old set of over the ear earphones and I don't think that would be any problem. <clears throat> well this is the device ladies and gentlemen. My first impressions, why not, right? I mean it's a neat little charging brick. It gives you the uh, the luxury of not having to carry your own charging cables around with you. And that's the thing that you often do with most power bricks. You have to have a, a charging port with it, especially if you don't have one wire that it has the wireless charging on it. Wireless charging is at five watts, by the way. And um, that is the device. First impressions, I like it. There will be a link for this product in the description below. Um, if something happens, if like down the road, if the device starts giving me trouble, I'll definitely let you know about it. But for right now, it's a go. Well, guys, thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Keep on watching. Like and subscribe.